being that it is getting close to Halloween, I got something for you. Something different. A little on the paranormal lines. I don't know what it is. But it's something that happens outside in the back of my property, behind my house, every single night. None of the other cameras pick this up. Occasionally you might see one, you might see two, but nothing like this. I was walking the other day around my property and I was right behind me here. If I was walking towards the back of the property, I got towards the end of the dog fence and the temperature just went boom. It probably dropped 10 degrees, if not more. And then if I walked past a certain area, it would warm back up. And then another area, the temperature has changed. And it's been like that for years. That one spot, it always changes. Could be just where the wind blows. There's no wind. It's just a noticeable difference in temperature. And it's weird. I want to get one of those thermal reading things. You know, you point at stuff. 40 degrees, 80 degrees. I could use that for other things anyway, but I would like to get one just to show that. And it's pretty weird. As you know, there's I've talked about strange things that have happened here. Two people have died that lived here that I know of for sure. The previous ones before them, I don't know. I can tell you nobody's really lived in this house as long as me. Uh... So whatever it is, it obviously don't bother me. I don't know that it's anything. Well, let's just, uh, let's go over here. I've got it set up. And what I did is I, I, I went to last night's and I found when it started happening, usually a red line will appear that the camera picks up. And sometimes it don't. But this is from last night. And this happened, I could do this any night. Doesn't matter what the temperature is. They are not. All right. Above. We're going to hit play on that. Hey, hold on, Hoss. I didn't say play. So I'm recording with my camera the video screen. So you're going to see it happen here. Let's take a look at it. Yes, this happens every, just about every single night. And it doesn't matter what the temperature is. It could be 20 below. I'm taking video of my video. Let's go ahead and hit play. I just think it's cool. It doesn't bother me. But let's look at it. All right, you'll see the orbs and stuff, but it gets more intense. There's a spot here where the red marks, I guess where it got even more. But these things start, uh, there's really no set time, but it's always, in, you know, obviously after dark. If they'll go, they seem to come out of the ground. Gets better. And man, sometimes it's so thick, you can't see the building there. Yep. Now watch them. Watch them now. See how they float? And then they'll kind of, look at this one. Look at this one, guys. They Is got that not, of their own. Like they, these are not bugs. Because I've seen this, and then they just disappear. I've seen this in very cold temperatures. Now there's one coming up. I want to watch for it floats out of the ground okay this is where my fire pit is you'll see in a minute i have a daytime shot to show you you guys have watched my videos on the other channel you've seen this a million times but back here in the bushes one comes up out of the ground and it floats back there and it sticks to a tree are they fairies what are they let's watch i i mentioned when i see that but uh it's pretty cool for no bugs are surviving but no bugs fly like these things. Look at that one. Look at that one in the center. Is that not freaky looking? Freaky. And uh, this is as far as I've seen. So anything past this point I haven't seen yet. And let's see. This is at 2.47 in the morning. That's actually, it says 1.47, but it's an hour behind. <laughs> Now, if you walk back 
to this property. Uh, I was doing this the other day. And you'll hit a point, probably about where the dog's fence ends, going to this back area. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah. The temperature drops crazy amount. It gets ice cold. Look back in there, guys. Did you see that? No, you Something didn't have the camera on. Is in the trees back there. In the trees. That is wild. I've never really sat and watched these. Because they're boring. They don't do it. But this is daily. And it doesn't scare me. You know, you go out there, you don't see nothing. I see stuff lighting up back in here. It could be the camera. The way they, if there was something. These are very flew. good cameras, by the way. Are they fairies? I mean, look at the back there. That's where the fire pit is. Yeah. Why am I? Stuff seems you? to be lighting up back there. We are uh, leprechauns, man. And, and, yeah, I don't see any wind. None of the trees are moving. The only wind's coming out of your butt. And then butt. it just quits. See? It's slowing down. It's and we haven't even reached the... Uh, it's coming up. We're not even to that point yet. It should be coming up soon. I'm curious. I haven't seen what that is yet, if anything. Could be a rabbit going across... One of the dogs. And some of them. Look at that one there. It just landed in a tree. Did landed. you guys see that? It stopped in the tree. Let's go back. Let's go back and see if we can see that. I can't see it. But... All right. Did you guys see that? Well, I, you didn't go back far enough. Some of them, look at that one there. It just landed in a tree. Did you guys see that? It stopped in the tree. And I guarantee you these ain't bugs. Uh, it picked up something on that piece of wood. I ain't found any of my big Maybe bugs out there. But I have seen it. Look, look how thick some of them are. Even what do they want? Yeah, pretty cool. I guess that's the end of the show. And, and I, I hope that one, it came out of the ground and it landed in one of them bushes back there. The bush over. I don't know what I got. But you do see these. Let me see if I can find them on any other camera. Now here's that same spot in the daytime. That's, oh, what is this thing coming up? It's a what dog, man. It's a real live. Who is that skinny guy? Man. He's got coffee. Look at Millie. She was going nuts this morning. But you can see, you got them bushes back there. I'm telling the dogs to get away from the fire pit. And they're playing. Millie is very playful. This was very playful this morning. CDB oil working good. All right, that's the daytime shot. Well, what do y'all think? Definitely not everybody has that going on nightly in their backyard. I don't know, but I do believe that we have organisms on earth species that i mean you know there's got to be so many we have never discovered how would you catch something like that if it is in indeed some sort of an insect or i don't know people nobody really knows what <coughs> orbs are it could just be another species of insect that they don't know anything about, or they do, and ain't telling us. But it's funny how they they can only be picked up on these cameras, these infrared cameras. And I always see, if I can find one of these, I will. And these are well known for people with video cameras. It's like a a stick with about 
three sets of wings and they they fly really weird uh they'll have three wings on one side of their body three wings on the other kind of like a dragonfly but they're not flying like a dragonfly you know they're they're they kind of fly like those orbs and again that could be some kind of an insect species but it would have to be a species that cannot survive or that can survive in very cold weather because i've caught this in you know 10 20 degree temperatures it doesn't matter what the temperature is they're there uh doesn't matter how hot it is cold if it now you don't see them in the rain now maybe i'm not because you can't really make them out from the raindrops you know raindrops do appear on the cameras very well but you know they're raindrops because they're falling down and that's all they do these are coming up from the ground no they're not termites and and i will add that that ground is solid clay and rock solid so whatever's under there uh i don't know and this land doesn't to my knowledge i mean there has not been a home on this place before 1980 that's when this place was built nothing before that what it was hundreds of years ago on this spot nobody knows i do know this was all national for or it was forest you know it's always been forest but who's to say somebody didn't clear out a spot here and live here 100 years ago i don't really i'm a more of a believer when you die your soul goes to heaven or hell. You don't hang around. But there obviously is things, and a lot of people say they're demons. A lot of people say they're angels. But obviously there's things hanging out in the earth, on the earth, that we don't know anything about. Paranormal. Uh, a lot of stuff's been captured. They're aliens, whatever. And I do believe we are not the only people in the universe the only beings we there's no way well, what are they i i don't think we'll ever get the answer to that here on this earth but they are interesting you gotta admit just something a little doesn't spook me they, i just look at them like looking at anything you know it's just there and i look at them every night Sometimes I'll pull them, pull up that one camera and watch them for a while, and it's pretty freaky what they do, how they fly. I've seen them fly right through the building that I have out there. I've seen them in the dog apartment uh, several times. They'll go right through the wall. Bugs don't do that either, or they appear to go through the wall. Maybe it's just camera trickery. You know, the cameras are showing something that really ain't there. I don't know. But I thought I'd show you. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails. Be sure to check out my video on the other channel. I go into detail a little bit about what I'm going to do on the new channel. So if you want to know what I'm going to do, I think it's a pretty good idea. Go check it out. Watch Tall Mountain Living. Happy trails.